Good day, my name is Andreas Hackertal and uh, I'm a gynecologist and I'm a practitioner working in an ambulatory day unit which uh, is located in Hamburg in Germany. Um, we formerly were known as the Tagesklinik Altona Straße and we changed um, um, place and changed the name to Frauenklinik an der Elbe. We are a center with uh, nine gynecologists and a couple of um, anesthesiologists. We mainly do surgery and we are in, uh, an endometriosis center, a certified endometriosis center in Germany and have uh, quite a bit of endometriosis patients, around 800 per year that we, um, that we treat and uh, very often with surgery. So there are a couple of questions being asked and one of the questions is uh, if uh, patients with endometriosis um, have wind problems and whether that might be a symptom of endometriosis, especially if the bowel is uh, infiltrated and uh, what we could do against it. So I believe that um, typically the flatus or the wind problem is not associated with endometriosis. Saying that, I know that uh, infiltrating disease, what endometriosis is, um, it has, has numerous uh, symptoms which mostly are dysmenorrhea, dyspareunia, uh, which means problems during menstruation, pain during menstruation and during sexual intercourse, um, dysuri, which is uh, pain during voiding, and uh, uh, dys dysusia, which is pain during um, um, stool. So, so typically, flatus might be associated with endometriosis. However, in, in an, a disease that is uh, interdisciplinary in the sense of a patient never presents with typical endometriosis symptoms, but rather with symptoms that might be associated with endometriosis. So I believe our duty as gynecologists is to rule out or to diagnose endometriosis. And therefore we have different diagnostic tools like ultrasound, um, palpation, examination and surgery. And if it comes down to endometriosis of the bowel, so endometriosis typically is an inflammatory disease which may or may not infiltrate. And if it infiltrates through the uh, layers of the bowel, then it might cause bleedings because if it infiltrates into the mucosa, which is the inner lining of the bowel, then there might be blood on the stool, which is totally rare. We, we hardly see that. We see endometriosis infiltrating the outer layers, which is a muscle layer of the bone. That is not very uncommon, but we hardly see that it really infiltrates into the mucosa and into the bone. And therefore, the question of does endometriosis cause wind problems or flatus? Probably it does not, but that is something that we have to rule out by doing the diagnostic tools I just mentioned. I believe if that is a problem, we have to look for um, disease of the bowel, we have to look for allergies or for gluten or other um, disease where patients just don't tolerate uh, these kind of substance or the, uh, the stuff they eat. So, nevertheless, in these cases, it would be useful to have a coloscopy, have a gastroscopy, associate, which is in endometriosis quite common, or go the interdisciplinary approach and ask the colleagues uh, to see whether the flatus is coming uh, from another perspective.